Welcome back. This is this small little talk is about the symbols that we're using, and I know this is a whole lot of stuff. If you're watching, watching this in the order in which I'm actually making them, which doesn't necessarily make sense, but if you're doing that, it's a whole lot of terminology, and it is just about trying to set a foundation. You have the advantage because you're doing an online class that you can watch these over and over again. I might make a video for those who are having trouble sleeping to help put you to sleep. Perhaps read a textbook. Anyway, I do recommend that you do read the textbook, uh, by the way. So, vector symbols. There are different ways of representing it. And so, these are the four basic ways that you're going to see to represent vector symbols here. This is, the, this is the way that I tend to do it because it's easy to write. However, sometimes when printing, you'll get the double, sort of the double head there. Uh, these indicate direction. Now, textbooks tend to use one of these others, and sometimes in my notes I would do it this way. This is sort of what I call the double print, and then the last one is the bold face. Uh, textbooks, uh, especially the higher order textbooks, tend to use the bold face to represent vectors. But these are different ways that you might see them represented. In the stuff that I do, I tend to write it this way. Uh, I believe the word processor that I use, I use OpenOffice because Microsoft sucks. Uh, this is the one to use, and sometimes when I'm just feeling a little saucy, I do it this way. And that's a real nuisance to do by hand, but some textbooks do it. Anyway, vector symbols in a minute.